So good morning, everyone. I'm sitting here having a laugh at myself this morning, just getting back into the habit of doing the videos here on um, on my channel. So today I wanted to talk quickly about online presence and if I, if uh, you're doing everything you can to promote your drone business or other small business. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. All right, everybody, welcome back, and thanks for stopping by the channel. My name is Rich, and I'm always appreciative of you stopping by and hanging out for a few. So while I'm working up some other videos um, on my recent project and some new videos on pre-programmed flight autonomous flying, I thought I'd pop something else up today because I've had the question from a couple of my students over at Udemy.com. They've asked, hey, you know, what do we do about our online presence and reaching people to get our our drone business out there to get people to know about our drone business and it's an excellent question and of course you know there are multiple ways today so number one um building your own website so i've got my arizona drone website up here right now and um this is just an example of my own website i'm not reaching everyone that i want to reach yet but I'm working on that. So that's always something that's in progress. One thing that you should know about um, building your web presence and um, developing your business online is that it is time consuming. Uh, it's not going to be an overnight success and it's going to take a lot of uh, love and care. So some TLC there. Uh, if you're not regularly putting up new information on your business web page, uh, you're not going to get as many searches. You're not going to be providing as much content to uh, your potential clients. So let's talk some simple things about your own web presence. So looking at Arizona Drone, um, this website is built with WordPress and XTheme. And I actually have a course on that on Udemy.com for people who are just starting out building websites where you can build your own site with WordPress and ThemeCo's XTheme. So that is over on the Udemy site, and I'll make sure to put a link to it in the show notes below. You don't have to use WordPress and XTheme. You can use Squarespace, you can use Wix. There are so many different web hosts out there. So you've got a lot of options, and a big part of it, it's gonna, it's gonna depend on your own skill and um, comfort with building websites as to whether or not you have successful websites. So just throwing up a web page saying, hey, I'm a drone pilot, I'm a small business owner, um, whatever it is you're doing, just throwing up a single page is not going to bring you a bunch of traffic. There's a lot of things that go into a successful website. So you need to think about search engine optimization. Um, what types of words are people using to find you? How are they coming across you? And you need to accentuate those words throughout your website. In the case of my website, it has multiple pages. So number one, it's Arizona Drone, a pretty memorable name. And then we've got some images here of a construction site that I did uh, last year. And then some pretty aerial stuff. And then some uh, images for doing a model of a park. And then we talk about real estate photography. We talk about construction services that I do. And uh, the possibility of rooftop inspections. And finally, aerial imaging. So this first page has a lot of content and hits a lot of keywords. And that's one of the big things is you really need to figure out the keywords in your own market. Uh, the reason I've been using WordPress for over a decade and the reason that I chose to build my personal website with WordPress was my comfort and familiarity with WordPress. The other thing is that there are a lot of plugins for WordPress, so there's a lot of tools available to me, uh, for instance, uh, going over to our real estate video and still photography page, I've got real estate still photography, real estate aerial video, and also 360 degree interactive images. And I wanted to look at this one real quick because we can actually pan through this as you're seeing right here. So I can actually pan around and get a true 360 view of the location I'm working at. Now, the big question for whatever web hosting company you use, can you put one of these 360 panos up? Can you embed video? 
Um, you know, all of these things are extras. And I knew for a fact for myself when I started building this website that WordPress next name would accomplish my goals. Before you start building your business website, you need to list out to yourself what things would I like to be able to do. I'd like to embed YouTube videos on my website. Can I do that with this particular web host? Is it easy? Is it more difficult? You know, which way is it going for me? So before you make a decision on the platform you're going to use, I think the first thing that you need to do is sit down and think about what it is you want to say and what it is you want to share with potential customers on your business website. So one of the big reasons that I'm doing this today, one of my students had asked, hey, I like your website. Um, I'd like to do something like it. And they're taking some of my drone classes. So I let them know I've got that WordPress next theme course at Udemy, but it's not necessary to use that. First, I think you need to list out all the things you want to accomplish with your business website. And it doesn't have to just be a drone business, okay? So in the case of building my website, I leveraged a lot of the features of, um, of uh, WordPress Next Theme. And then I've even got my own pricing items and you can actually go through the other drone services. So we've done construction services. We've done work for private uh, destination locations such as Sundance One RV and all the other members of uh, the McGavin family. So we've hit a lot of different destination RV parks. But as you see, one of the key things that I think you should pay attention to here, and this is just another embedded map that I created for the RV park in Tucson that I was working with last year, um, just doing a drone map, uh, I was able to embed this drone map in this particular website with WordPress and Xtheme. So I think before you start putting pen to paper and start just developing your website, I think you need to list out all of your realistic needs, what you really want to present on the website, what tools are going to go into that. Can I do that 360 panel? Can I embed an interactive 3D map? Get those questions answered. And once you get those questions answered, it'll give you an idea of what technology you want to use for the website building. Now, my website's been static for a while. I haven't done a lot with it lately. I've done more work on YouTube and I've been doing more work on other social media platforms. So azdrone.net has been somewhat neglected. Now, the bigger following that I've been developing over the past year is here on YouTube. Uh, I've got a lot more people following me than I did just one year ago. And um, I have to remember, so if you start building a YouTube channel, but you're trying to sell your drone services, oftentimes you're going to be talking to an audience of people just like you. So people who are interested in drones and want to use drones for business. And that's uh, the bulk of the new folks who've been joining up with this channel. And thanks, by the way, for joining up. I appreciate it. Um, but so the bulk of the folks uh, who follow along on YouTube with me aren't people looking to purchase my aerial services. They're people following along to see what kind of work I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And that's great. It's good to build that kind of following. And I can also use that down the road with um, customers who want aerial imaging and aerial video. I can show to them successful YouTube channel, people interested in what I'm doing and the training that I offer for folks too. So it shows a little more expertise in, uh, in what I'm working on. So, so that's part of why I've been using YouTube. And also I like sharing this stuff with you guys. It's been fun and I've been having a lot of fun interacting with some of my new uh, students over on Udemy and folks ask me questions here. I never mind those questions. So big things though, just to keep in mind, Search engine optimization is huge. You're not gonna learn it in a day and there's a lot of videos on YouTube about it. But if you're just starting out and you're looking to build a website for your drone business, um, you need to start listing everything off, listing what you're gonna want and need on your website. Make sure that the platform you choose can accommodate everything that you're gonna be putting out there to share with people. Because you don't want to start building a website and then find out, hey, I can't embed videos here, so I can't show people the YouTubes of me actually doing the work. You don't want to run into that problem. So a little bit of research beforehand goes a long way. All right, everyone, I'm going to pop off here. And oh, by the way, so um, 
azdrone.net uh, was launched in the fall of 2017. And I just did a quick search for Prescott AZ Drone Pilot. And you will see, so we've got uh, Drone Up, which is a larger business that resells drone uh, service provider services. Droners.io, I'm a member of that. Another Droners.io. And then AZ Drone Services from azdrone.net, which is me. Um, I wasn't this far up on Google when I first built this site. So it's taken a little time and persistence with getting more information and content on there. And that's the biggest thing. Once you pick the platform, um, the biggest thing is that you really need to write out what it is you do for a service. The more words you have, the more coherent words you have, um, the more that you will get found in search, op uh, search engine searches. So SEO is a big thing. If you guys would like a more in-depth, detailed visit into SEO, let me know, pop it down in the comments, and we can start having conversations about that. And w these conversations can be for everyone, not just drone pilots, but I know a lot of folks here are interested in drone work. So, All right, thanks for stopping by and look forward to more videos this week. It's rainy and gray and nasty outside, so no drone flight right now. Bummer.